Welcome to this GIFWorks quick video. My name is Jonathan Lehman. I'm going to be showing you the new SmartList update options that we've added for GIFWorks 2010. GIFWorks 2010 is the latest release of GIFWorks and it was released on September 8, 2009. And in this release, one of the features we've added is some additional SmartList update options um, based on feedback from our customers. So let's get started and I'll sign into GIFWorks. SmartList updates options in the settings area. Go to Additional Settings and Tools. If I have the proper authorization, I'll be able to update all items in a smart list. Here is a list of all the, the current options that are available for updating items in a smart list. This is, this is, these are options that allow you to update donors and or donations based on, uh, update fields in those for donors or donations based on um, a list of members in a smart list or a list of donations or pledges in a smart list. One of the first things you'd want to do is before you run one of these options, since it could update, potentially update uh, a lot of information in GIFWorks, is to back up your GIFWorks database. So I'll do that. The new options we've added, which we're going to focus on in this video for 2010, the first two kind of work together and they're adding smart list members to mailing lists and removing smart list members from mail mailing lists. I have a, uh, I've set up a mailing list, um, a golf list promotion mailing list. Right now it has no members in it. And I want to add some members to it. So I'm going to add smart list members to mailing list. I'm going to choose that option. Click next. I'm going to select a smart list that I've created called attended golf outing. And this is a smart list of all the members that have attended uh, a recent golf outing. I'm going to click next. And it's going to give me the option uh, on this page to select one or more a mailing list to add these members to, these donors to. So I'm going to select the golf classic promotion list. And I can simply then, after I select that, I can click Add to Selected Mailing List. And it's going to ask me to confirm. I click Yes. And it's that simple. It's done. So let me, uh, let me show you. If I go to the Mailings area, go to Manage Mailing List, you'll see my Golf Classic Promotion List has 75 members in it at this point. You can see here's the list of the donors. I want to show you that you can, you can remove members from a mailing list also using an additional option that we've added. And also show you there's there's different ways to get to this uh, these update options. You can also access them by viewing smart list if you have the proper authority. So let's say I go and let's say I want to um, maybe there's some people that attended my golf outing that also were sponsors and I maybe don't want them in this mailing list I just set up because maybe I want to send them a separate mailing. So maybe I want to remove those members if they happen to be on that that uh, mailing list. So I'm going to select the golf outing sponsors, and if I have the proper authority, I'll have this update items in this list. So I select that option. And then I can select the Remove Smart List Members from Mailing List. Click Next. Looks very similar to the other one, uh, uh, the, the Add Smart List Members to Mailing List, as in this case, when I, when I select this, it's going to, uh, when I click the Remove button, it will remove any donors in that Smart List from the, uh, from the mailing list I've selected. So I'm going to just simply click Remove, click Yes, click Finish. And you see how that was another way of accessing uh, these update options. And it only shows the ones that are appropriate for that type of Smart List. Let me go back and just show you. If I go to the mailing list, we now have 73 members that removed two of those. The next option, I'll go back to the settings area, additional settings and tools, and I'll bring up my update all items in the smart list again. The next one I want to show you is being able to add a task to smart list members. There might be uh, based on a certain smart list you have, maybe a, maybe a certain donation smart list or pledge smart list based on giving or whatever. You might want to add a reminder task, tasking in GiftWorks for those donors. So I'm going to select that, click Next. In this case, I'm going to use my same attended golf outing. And I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to say, I want to send them a thank you email. I don't want to forget to do that. I'm going to say, uh, thank you. For your participation. Hopefully I spelled that right. And we can put a date and a time when we're going to do that. So I'm going to do that on the 11th. I'm going to add the task. And I'm going to say, it's going to ask me to confirm. And I say yes. I'm going to click finish. And I, uh, what we could do to demonstrate this, I could go back to that smart list. Uh, attended the golf outing, and each one of these should have a task. So if I bring up any one of these donors, so 
Oh, I didn't click on that, I guess. Uh, you'll see that right here is that is that task added. And it would have been added for every donor in that smart list. Uh, the next one I want to show you, getting back to the same area, is we give you the ability to <coughs> update any custom field that you've created, any donation, or here's the donation or pledge custom field, donation custom field on donations or pledges, or any donor custom field for any of your donors based on smart list. I'm gonna so they're very similar. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate this to you by showing you the change donor custom field value of smart list members. I'm gonna select that. And let's say for instance I've created a a giving level a custom field, and and I want to update that based on uh, the total giving of my donors. So I have a smart list of all my donors that are given five thousand dollars or more. Okay, so select them. I bring this up, and you'll notice that this drop down gives a list of all my donor custom fields. So any one of these I could pick, and would give me the appropriate options. That's a, a list drop down. Here's a text field I could put in a value. Uh, it's a checkbox. A birth date I could select a date. Or hobbies, which is a another drop down, but it's a key a keyable drop down text where I could key additional values if I wanted to. In this case, I want to update my giving level custom field, and for those donors that gave five thousand dollars more, I want to make them my gold sponsor. So I select that, select the I select the custom field, select the value, and say change custom field value. Ask me to confirm. I click yes, and finish. And we'll do it two more times just to give you an idea. Oh. Now I'm going to select those that gave between $2,500 and $5,000, different set of donors. Select giving level. I'm going to make these my my silver sponsors. Change custom field value. Click yes, and finish. And one more time. And those that gave between $500 and $2,500. A few more people there. And giving level. And bronze sponsor. I'm going to change, confirm, finish. Now I just want to show you. Uh, for instance, how that could be used. Once I have that, I could go into a report. I could go into my donor report, and I could customize my report. Oops, sorry. I could group by my giving level custom field. There it is. And now I can categorize my donors. You see all these that are not in any giving level. Here are those that are in the sorry, the bronze gold, and silver. So it gives you an idea how we can use that to update a field that maybe you want to use for grouping or, or whatever. Final, the final option I want to show you, the new option we've added, I'm going to the smart list, kind of goes in conjunction with our another one of our update, feature updates for 2010, which is the ability to that allows you to enter zero dollar donations if you have the proper setting. Um, so our understanding is that a lot of customers, since prior to 2010, you could not enter zero dollar donations. Um, sometimes customers would choose to enter those as a penny to make them as close to a zero as they could. We want to give the the ability for them to change those donations to zero dollars once they uh, purchase 2010. So if you pick, here's a donation smart list that has all um, my donations that were a penny. I'm going to click the update items in this list. I'm going to click change. Uh, amount for received donations. So this is just for received donations, gifts and received pledge payments. Notice there's some uh, some restrictions here. You have to, uh, if it's even if you allow zero dollar zero dollar donations, it can't update a pledge payment to zero dollars, and also cannot update split split fund gifts. So uh, in this case, I'm going to set those to zero. The default is that it will update the received amount to match this donation amount. Um, if it matches. So if, if, if currently for a donation you put in a different receipt amount, it would leave that receipt amount alone. You can choose to, to uncheck this, which would make every, for every donation it changes the amount on it, it would make the receipt amount match the donation amount. But we'll leave the default here. I'll click change amount, click yes, confirm, and it says, make sure you want to continue. And let's finish. And if, to show that, basically if I went back to that smart list, I should not have any zero dollar donations anymore, which I don't. And I'll go to the donations dashboard and you'll see that I have some zero dollar donations that these were before were, prior to that were a penny. So hopefully this gives you an idea of some of the new um, update 
um, smart list options that we've added for 2010. These were added based on feedback we've heard from our customers, and hopefully they, they give you more flexibility in managing your donors and donations and, and tracking them in the ways that work for you. And we hope in some small way that uh, GiftWorks helps you, your organization fulfill the mission that you are called to. Thank you for watching this video.